Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally Mac OS 11 Big Sur has been released. After months of waiting and going through a lot of beta stages, we finally have Mac OS 11 here and it brings a ton of new features and changes to Mac OS. A total revamp of Mac OS. It looks beautiful and of course it packs a ton of new features. So in this video we're going to take a look at what's new on Mac OS 11 and we're going to take a look at more than 70 new features and changes that you will be able to find on Mac OS 11 Big Sur. All right, starting with the obvious, the redesign. Mac OS 11 has totally been redesigned. You can see here from the tables, from anything right here on Mac OS has been redesigned. We have all new icons, the dock has been redesigned, and of course now we have here full height sidebars on all of the apps. We have all redesigned new symbols, all over the apps and they have all the same symbols so that's great and of course there's the new startup chime which apple has added back on mac os and we have also all new system sounds so with mac os 11 big sur you will get all new system sounds on your device so again everything has been redesigned and everything just looks beautiful you can see from the menus from everything it looks much much better and of course it looks much more like ios now let's dig a bit deeper into mac os 11 and see all the new features and changes right here on the menu bar we have a ton of new features so we have right here the now playing it shows you what you're currently playing and of course you will also have the controls here that let you control whatever you're playing you will get a new icon for your airpods right here if you have them connected and right here you can see all the other devices where you can output and you can switch between them it also allows you to expand here on the airpods and allows you to control the noise cancellation and transparency if you have the airpods pro so that's really really great and on the bluetooth menu if you tap right there you can do the same here you'll have your bluetooth devices and you will be able to also control the noise cancellation of your airpods of course there's the new control center that apple has added to mac os 11 which is really really great we have all the different toggles here so you will have your wi-fi your bluetooth you can tap on any of the toggles if you want to expand them so any of these from the display to the sound to the bluetooth airdrop anything can be expandable right here and you will have also keyboard brightness right here on the control center so you will be able to go ahead and control the brightness of the keyboard using this button and if you want to go to the notification center of course you can swipe on the trackpad or you can just tap the clock right there and it will take you to the notification center now right here what you can see is group notifications so with mac os 11 apple has brought group notifications to mac os and you will get this button which basically if you just hover the axe right there it will allow you to clear all the notifications and of course we have the new widgets right here which of course have been redesigned and they look just like the ones on ios if you tap the edit widgets it will take you to the widgets panel from where you can just remove any widget you can of course rearrange them here or you can search right here on the left side any widget that you want and here we'll have all the different widgets and you can see right here it shows you their sizes so you can go ahead and switch between different sizes of widgets and then of course add them to the widgets panel on your mac os going to the settings you will find of course new settings that have been added with mac os 11. right here we have the battery settings so we have the usage history of the battery which shows right here it will show you the screen on usage and of course the battery level and then lower here will have a battery button if you go here now you will find optimized battery charging so optimized battery charging has been added to mac os as well and that of course is really really great and you will also have here battery health so if you tap right there it will give you all the different informations regarding the condition of the battery of your mac which of course is really great another change that apple has made with the setting with the preferences on mac os is that now the update section is much much faster and your mac will update much much faster being on mac os 11. of course as with every update on mac os and ios apple adds new wallpapers we have here two new wallpapers that apple has added on mac os 11 so basically we have four here but they are like 
one which is dark mode and light mode and of course the other one has also the dark mode and light mode and you can see we have at the top here dynamic desktop so these will change based on the time of the day so from daylight to nighttime, it will just change based on the time of the day. Now, right here, we'll have Big Sur graphic, and you can go right here and choose whether you want them to be automatic or you can choose light, which is still basically it will just keep it on light, whatever the time is, and of course, dark as well. You can switch between them. Under the accessibility settings, if you go to voice control, you will find now overlay. Now with overlay, you can go ahead and choose right here, numbered grid, and what it will do, it will basically display the grid that you get on iOS, which lets you just command your Mac using your voice and tap each grid you want. So that's a feature that was on iOS 13, Apple has added it on iOS 13 first, and now you will be able to find it on Mac OS 11. Under the security and privacy settings, you will find new settings here for your Bluetooth. So if you go right here, we'll see a list of the apps that use your Bluetooth. You will find the same settings here for HomeKit and there are also security and privacy settings for your media and Apple Music. So basically right here, we'll be able to discover all the apps that are using your media and Apple Music, your Bluetooth or the HomeKit. So if you want to like enable them, disable them, you can do them from here. So if you have any app that has requested you to use maybe your media, let's say, or your Bluetooth, you want to find them here. And if you want to switch that off, you can, of course, do that from here. If you go under the new dock and menu bar, you will find here settings for your control center. So it says control center, and then right here, you will find all the different sections of the control center and it shows them right here on the right side. And you will be able to basically manage them from here. Like AirDrop, for example, if you wanna show it on the menu bar, you can do that or you can disable it from here. We'll have the same, let's say here for keyboard brightness, and you will have basically the same for every other app, every other toggle that you'll find on the control center. You can choose whether you want to see them on the menu bar or not. Then you will have here other modules. So you have like the battery, you can choose here whether you want to see it on the control center and the menu bar or just one of them and whether you want to show the percentage of battery or not on the menu bar. And then you have menu bar only. These are items that you cannot display on the control center. These are displayed only on the menu bar. And of course you can go ahead and just customize these like the clock, for example, spotlight, and you will have here's the Siri menu bar as well. So you can choose whether you want to see them on the menu bar or not. Under the notification settings, here we'll find the notifications, of course, for all of your apps. Now, if you go to one of the apps, you will be able to choose if you want to see previews of the notifications or not from this menu right here. And as I said, with Mac OS 11, Apple has brought group notifications. So from here, you will be able to choose whether you want to enable group notifications for each of the apps. So you will have here notification grouping. You can tap here and choose by app or completely turn it off or of course, leave it on automatic. Some of the biggest changes that have happened on Mac OS 11 can be found on Safari. We have a totally new start page right here, which of course now is customizable. So you will have right here at the top your favorites, of course, you have your frequently visited, and then you will have your privacy report. This is new with Mac OS 11. If you tap on it, it will show you a report. So you will have websites and trackers right here on the right side. And you can do that for individual websites on any website. You just tap that little button right there and it shows you the trackers. So if we go back here, you can see we have serious suggestions and we have the reading list. Now at the tabs, you can see that we have these little icons. Now you can open more tabs on Mac OS 11 on Safari and they will basically just be smaller and have just these little icons right here and won't actually have the text so you can find like easier your tabs. And what's great is that if you just put your mouse right here on any of the tabs, it will show you that little preview of the website right there, which is really, really great. Now, as I said, you can customize the start page here on Safari just by tapping right here on the bottom right corner and you will get the option here to enable or disable any of the items that you see right here on the start page and you will be able to also change the background of the start page on Safari. You can go ahead and also choose your own picture and set it as a background for the start page of Safari which is really really great. Now according to Apple Safari on Mac OS 11 is 50% faster so of course that's really great. You have a relocated plus button right here for the tabs and another button which 
will show you all the different tabs that you have open which of course is great as well and of course it lets you open more tabs and see them easier and of course the new big feature of mac os 11 and safari which is also on ios the new ability to translate pages directly from safari so whenever you open a page that is on a free uh, on a foreign language you can go ahead and just tap this little button right there and just tap right there translate to english and that of course will translate it based on the language that you use on your mac you can go ahead and easy as just like that translate any website directly on safari on the photos app on mac os 11 you will have the ability to adjust the strength of the different filters that you might apply to one of your photos so you will have these sliders right there which is really really great and of course on iOS 14, Apple has added the ability to add tags to your photos, basically add captions to your photos. You can do that on Mac OS 11 as well. You just go ahead and go to the info and right here will have the option to go ahead and add any caption you want to your photos. Now, the great thing on Mac OS 11 is that the adjustments, the filters and the cropping that you do with the photos can be done on videos as well. So just like you edit photos, you can do the same with videos on the photos app now as i said earlier mac os 11 looks more like ios and the same goes for the imessage app the new imessage app is amazing and of course it looks more like the one on ios it's a totally new imessage app you will have the ability now of course ping conversations at the top right there which is new with ios 14 as well you will get a typing indicator when one of your contacts is typing something and now of course you can mention contacts on any of the diff different conversations that you're doing just like on ios you can do that on mac os 11 as well you just tap the name of the contact and you tap right there and you will be able to select that contact and of course mention it on a conversation you can see how the text turns blue right there that means that we're mentioning that contact and of course you have inline replies so what you need to do is just go ahead and go to any of the messages just tap with two fingers on the trackpad tap on reply and as you can see right here we are now replying to that specific message which is really great and you will be able to now use effects on mac os 11 on imessage you will be able to send messages with effects which is really great and you will also have here um, images so if you go to images you will be able here to search for any gifts that you want and send them to any of your conversations and right here we'll have message effects and of course you have emoji stickers as well which now can be edited directly from the imessage app on i on mac os 11 which of course is great as well you will be able to also share your name and your photo with mac os 11 that's new just like on ios of course and you will be able to also rename and add a pic to a group conversation there is an updated photo picker on imessage and there is of course the search as well so now you can go ahead and search for anything right here on the search bar which you will find on the new imessage app on voice memos we now have folders and there are a few new folders you can see right here we have favorites so anytime you favorite a recording it will be placed right there you will have all your recordings of course on one folder and then you will also have the recently deleted so any like items that you have deleted you will find them right there now if you go to recording here and you want to edit that you will have the ability to enable auto enhance right there so that will of course auto enhance the recording that you did by removing the background noises and all that stuff on the music app there is a new listen now section which you will find at the top of the list on the left side and there is the new search section right here which now allows us to browse different categories so you can switch here between your library apple music and itunes store on the apple music you will find the different categories of music that you can go ahead and explore from here also if you go on the podcast app you will see the same listen now section which basically allows you to see the stuff that you listen to and if you was listening to something you can go ahead and continue listening easier from here as they will be displayed on the up next section here on listen now and on the notes app when you search for something you will see now here top hits so the top hits are there of course 
the one that you need the most, the use the most, the notes, of course, you use the most will be displayed right there. And you'll have now quick style. So just select any text, tap right there, and you will have quick style here to quickly format any text you want. So that is it for this video, guys. This is macOS 11 Big Sur. A big change to macOS, bringing a ton of new features and changes. Over 70, you could see on this video, of course, there are more, and I will do another video on those very, very soon. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one.